everybody i'm back again with a couple more tiny little projects for valentine's i'm working on four loaded pockets and i have a tutorial so um hopefully it's before this video um, i'm not going to show you what they look like yet but i am working on some dangle paper clips or charms and i just did some little sequin mixes in these bottles so i bought from dollar tree a pack of eight bubble bottles and I only took four of them out because I didn't know how it was going to be, but it worked out great. So I took four, emptied, that, emptied it out, just did a quick rinse with water, and then let them dry overnight. And then I cut off, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. No, that's not it. Somewhere in my trash. I don't know where it went. <laughs> anyway. Let's see, hopefully I don't make a mess with this, but let me just grab a little paper towel. So I was gonna just put them in my little loaded pockets like this and you know, just have little fun bubbles, but I was really afraid that in the shipping it would open up, even though you really gotta pull um, and spill, you know, and mess up the paper. So I just, you know, emptied them out, rinsed them real quick and let them dry. And then I just cut off the stick and fill them with sequins so my god I didn't make a mess let me just show you real quick I didn't do anything else you know I was thinking of decorating them but I wanted to keep them simple I did do four but I'm only going to show you two of them and that's how they came out so whoever receives this again there's going to be four recipients I don't know who yet I just know that out of the tons of addresses that I have um, from my giveaway four people are going to receive this um, but, you know, just pull this and then use the sequence however you like. It is a mix that I bought from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to kind of show you. I have it in here. This is just my Valentine's sequence stash. And I already have it emptied out here, but it is from Hobby Lobby. comes in a big bag, which is only $2.99, which is actually a good deal. It's usually full. So, and you can get it on sale. <clears throat> And I didn't have to do anything because it's got all the colors in there. So that was a quick um, project. And then now I'm just working on these little paper clip um, XOXO bead things that I'm going to hang off of the little loaded pockets. And the, the recipients can use this as a bookmark or a planner page marker, you know, just use it as a something or whatever or take it off if you'd like and put it on something else but I got these little XOXO beads that come with little hearts as well from Target last year for a buck so I just emptied some out and now I'm just taking them out. I'll do the tutorial here <clears throat> I've got these um, eye pins which have the loop and I know this camera doesn't really zoom in very well but it has a loop on one end you have to have something at the other end whether it's a loop or if you take the flat head you're gonna need a little something to block to block the holes because some of these holes are like the the hearts just go straight through so I didn't want to pull out my other beads <laughs> so I just um, am using this end here um, and then I just got you know my little Thing that's from Dollar Tree. I put a little sticker there with the stuff that I use most of the time, little um, jump rings and the um, eye, eye pins and the, the, the flathead ones and then my lobster clasp. But all I need is the jump ring. I just got my smaller ones and then this. And then of course the paper clip. I'm just using these four longer ones because I already had them out. Um, probably could have just used smaller ones, but I think for the purpose I might want this longer one just so it doesn't pull out too easy. So we're just going to build this and I'm going to start with the heart. Then I'm going to finish it. It's going to be the end, so I'm just going to do OXOX -X backwards. Although you could do it any way you want if you want to do it the other way, but I figure whoever pulls this and reads this is probably going to read it in this form, you know, from this part out. Anywho, let's just add them. So I'm finally in Valentine project mode, although I'm not going to do too many projects. 
like these. I'm just going to be working more on TNs. I do want to make a couple more, if not more than that, um, Valentine's theme. Anyway, so I have them all on here, and I'm ending off with the heart. Now, I could just leave this off and have a little extra metal here, but I kind of like the two hearts, so it doesn't leave me too much at the end. I don't know what length this is. This um, on my thing here measures two inches. So, and I'm going to just bend that, hold all my beads, and then I'm going to take my little needle nose pliers here and make my little loop. Okay. So I'm going to make the loop and close it. Make sure it's closed. It's going to be snug. The beads are not going to move around a lot, but they still will turn. So we've got that. And then we're just going to take our clip and then our jump ring. And I'm going to get two of my flat needle nose pliers to open up my ring. And you just twist it to open. You don't want to pull open. And then grab this. Again, I want it to read XOXO, so I'm going to put it at this end. And then I'm just going to grab my clip and put it at this end, not the part where you would slip onto paper or anything. And then just attach. Oops, yeah, right. Hang on to that. Is that the right end? Not that it matters. You can always move it around, but I just like to attach it all like this. And then just put that right back where it was and now I got myself a couple of clips so these would be great to hang um, let me get my planner let me get my cutesy little my baby <laughs> my baby I love this I'm just gonna slip it in without actually worrying about where it goes but you can hang it off the bottom of a planner if you want or off the side or instead of putting it on a clip put it on a lobster clasp and then just have a little something over here or just attach it directly onto the elastic do whatever you'd like with that it's just you know I'm just doing it this way because I'm gifting these and they're gonna go and clip onto let's just say because I am using these little sticker books that are from Walmart Let's just say you're going to gift that, right? And it's got a little something hanging there that says XOXO. So I'm just going to do two more and then um, that's it. So anyway, I don't know if they have this this year, but I did get it last year from Target. Um, I don't know if anybody else carries these, but that's where I got it from. The clips I do get through Amazon, and I forgot which shop it is, but these measure two inches. So they're two inches long and I do like this and I like this this particular gold finish that it has it's like a nice shiny gold not dull okay everyone thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys um, in my next video bye now